Hi traders, look at this amazing setup. I've got so many stocks gapping down more than 10%. This is just absolutely amazing. We are in the quarterly earning reports. Therefore, you've got Tesla, Save, Kera, LVS. All of these stocks are down dramatically. And I'm going to take some risk today. So this is going to be either a, an, an amazing day for me or a, a very unpleasant losing day. Looking at Tesla here, and I will take some risk with Tesla. I'm going to short 4,000 shares if it's going to come down under 232. It's getting close there. Watch the buyers. Now it's 232. No more buyers. You could have watched the buyers. The buyers went down. The number of buyers came down. And I clicked that button before it moved under 232. And look at this beautiful, beautiful move. Here we go. Touch the 231 and under. Under 231 again. I'm getting ready for my partial. These are the first few minutes, so I'm being very, very cautious here. I would like to get a little bit more than $1 on this first spike down under the lows. Watch the sellers here at 50 now. If it's going to pull back up, I'm going to click the button. Moving to 60, moving to 80, clicking the button. I got a little bit more than a dollar on this uh, first Tesla trade. That was absolutely amazing, leaving 400 shares and hoping it's going to continue coming down. Watching save, saves down 16%. Try to move higher, failed. Now it's coming down. Watching this 46 level mark. Here we go at 46, shorting. Watch the buyers coming down, same as Tesla and under 46. Seller came down under 46. What a lovely move here. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Look at it coming down. 50 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents. Any sign of pullback, I'm going to click that button. I've got 70 cents. Oh, just 50 cents. I probably could have got a little bit better than that. But what a great second trade in save. Just five minutes into the trading day. I'm up almost $6,000. Watch Kera. Uh, same story with Kera. Stock is uh, down 9%. Nice reversal. Try to move higher. Shorting here. 4,000 shares. Nice first spike down TAL is down 10% uh, now again that's a kind of trade I'm looking for stock that is coming down initially then moving up failing to move higher down 10% that usually means going to continue down I'm getting ready to short it about short 4000 shares shorting now so it's going to come down now. It looks quite good. Tesla is looking great. I still hold 400 shares and I'm about to add 2000 more. Look at the 230 mark. It found some support there earlier. And it's a whole number. Once it comes down under 230, I'm going to click the button now. Didn't get it 230. Got it. 35 cents lower but it's a huge mover I'm taking a risk I'm going to cover 2,000 shares looking for one point it's a quick scalp look at it move look at it move here comes one dollar here comes one dollar well a little bit less I didn't get it right right here here we go now I've got one dollar and clicking the button beautiful second trade in Tesla I knew Tesla is going to be on the winning side today it was expected to continue coming down Went short 4,000 shares earlier in TAL and just broke a very important support. I'm about to add another 4,000 shares here. I'm going to take a risk here. Shorting now. Another 4,000. I'm short 8,000 shares right now. Look at this five minute, five candles here. Five one minute candles. It just broke under. And I think that once it did that, it's probably going to come under the lows. And <laughs> yes, it does. And we go and we go. I've got 8,000 shares riding on TAL right now. And look at this beautiful momentum once, it's, once it came down under the lows. Look at the volume. Look at the volume. This is great. I'm about to take my partial at any sign of pullback now. Moved up a few cents, took my partial, left 400 shares. And another, another great trade today in TAL. Big mover. 
Kera just broke down. Finally, I was waiting for a long, long time for Kera to break down. Look at this whole consolidation here. Usually, I don't stay that long in a share that doesn't really do what I expected it to do. I was expecting it to come down at this candle here, at the second candle. It did not do so. So why did I hold on for so long? Because the stock is down more than 10%. That's why. And it's very likely to continue coming down. About to take my partial now. Took my partial, left 400 shares in Kera. And again, if you take a look at uh, Kera's behavior, usually you shouldn't hang on to a stock that is not going in your direction. I mean, uh, you've got a 50% chance that it's going to go up or down, but not when the stock is down 10%. Again, if that would have happened at the range of 1% up and down, I would have moved out. But when it's down 10%, likely to continue. Nova IPO just came out. And uh, Nova IPO is not really interesting because usually we need to see them with more than 1 million shares and we do have that, but we also need to see them over the IPO price. And this one's down 7%. It's quite rare. They don't usually start that way. So I'm really thinking about something I don't usually do is shorting it, possibly under the lows, under $11. That's a whole number. And I'm going to take a look and see if there's a lot of buyers at $11. And I think there are. So I'm kind of interested in doing something I don't usually do. Look at the number of buyers. Look at the number of buyers coming down. I'm clicking the button. There were over 50,000 shares now, 10,000. And now it's coming down. And here we go. Just moved under 11. I don't usually do that. I usually go long IPOs over the high of the day, uh, actually over the first five minute high, assuming they have the volume and they're over the IPO price. This time going short. And again, I'm trying to learn something new here. Hopefully it's going to work out. The Well, actually I can short IPOs, which is rather rare because I'm trading a CFD account. And with a CFD account, you can do the same as I do and short IPOs sometimes. That's a very, very interesting thing to do depending on the IPO. And here we go. We're down 30 cents. I did not expect to see it moving down that much. Okay, 60 cents, 40 cents, sorry. Came down to 1060 now. I'm doing well. 1060. Looking at the buyers, looking at the sellers. Sells at 62. Any sign of a pullback now? Pulled back up just a few cents. I took my partial, covered 3,600 shares, left 400 shares, and I'm hoping for more continuation. And again, I don't usually go short IPOs. Maybe I just learned something new. Well, I was hoping to have a good day, and indeed I do. Five trades, actually six trades, uh, two in Tesla. So altogether, six trades, all in green territory, which is quite rare. But, you know, in a day like this, when you have so many movers, that makes it a bit easier. Over seven grand just in Tesla alone. And traders, you can do it too. Just join me for a free 14-day try. Just click over here. That's over $13,000 in less than one hour. And traders, if you want to learn more about trading, just click on the link at the end of this video for a free trading book. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200-page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.